Oh, hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac, starring me, Northern Lion. It's a random run. I'm not sure if we're due for a random run. Oh, you know what? It doesn't really matter because that was a seeded run from the NLSS, so we're going to start again. Random. I like to random when previously I don't remember what we had done. So, uh, I don't love playing as Eve, but hey, Eve plus the D20 does put us in a very interesting situation to start with here. It's been a couple of days since I played the Binding of Isaac. That might be a good thing, it might be a terrible thing, we're about to find out. So on the cellar part one, what do we use our D20 on? The answer, perhaps unfortunately, may very well end up being nothing. Uh, extra red hearts would be maybe the most important resource to reroll, but we may not get any extra red hearts. Single pennies, you might say, would uh, be worth rerolling. I don't know. We need money so we can go to shops in the future. Let's just keep exploring for now, and we'll, we'll cross this bridge when we come to it. Um... Shitty trinkets would definitely be re-rollable, but... Maybe if we get, like, a room with a whole bunch of pennies in it, I would be... I would consider that acceptable. But a single penny is not worth re-rolling. I mean, re-rolling seven cents is not great, except for the fact that it can give us a bunch of pills and, you know, yada yada. Um, maybe we'll be able to find the secret room and get a key out of our bomb here. No such luck, but that's okay. Hmm. All right, that's fine. I wonder if you can, if, if I had Pyro, for example, if I could place like five bombs as quickly as possible and re-roll them while they're still alive. See, don't ever let anybody tell you that I don't think outside the box. I know it works with Anarchist Cookbook, but, um, or, or uh, the tower card for that matter. Anarchist Cookbook a little bit more difficult because you have to pick up the D20, you know, in the midst of it, but, hmm, we'll see. For now, uh, it's completely plausible that I may end up not using the D20 for a little while, and you know what? That's A-OK -okay by me. We're gonna end up getting a basically uh, immutable cube of meat here. There's nothing we can do about it. That's okay. I can live with it. I wish you didn't summon those flies. I wish instead you just chose to uh, basically eat shit. Instead, you have chosen to not eat shit, and that makes me uh, have a higher percentage chance of eating shit. But for now, single cube of meat, not really the uh, you know game-busting item you really need as Eve to make your game go the way you want it to go. But on the bright side, it means we're definitely not going to be fighting famine on the next floor. And on the bright side, we got a spacebar item of um, potentially good quality. We'll see as time goes on. I'm not going to reroll that. I'd rather save my D20 and use it in a little bit more effective of a situation. Wouldn't you agree? I would think that most people would probably agree with that. Who's coming first? Didn't really... It's the old Abbott and Costello routine that you can only see on YouPorn now. Alright. Nothing in this room. Well, we are going to go fight our boss right away. I don't relish the thought of doing that ASAP, but we'll probably use our Empress card to maximize our deal with the Devil chances. Yes, I I don't love it, but we're going to do it. So the Blighted Ovum, I, I botched it a little bit. He's a, like, the, the arena's a little tight here, that's the problem, but I think I can keep him at bay. That was a bad move on my part. Oh, come on. I didn't get it, but I got the pentagram, so I don't feel too bad. Just the way those rocks were aligned there made things very difficult on me. Mind you, pentagram, great item, so I can't be too salty about that. We do need some HP at some point, though. I'm hoping that maybe we'll get lucky and find a blood bank, basically. Uh, not on this floor in all likelihood, but maybe... Caves Part 2? I don't know. I've almost got too good to use Syndrome with our D20 here. Let's just try to stay alive for now. Don't walk into the fire. That would be definitely by far the worst way to die at this point. Although, getting killed by these guys would be a close second. Nothing in here? That's kind of crazy to me. We still have an item room awaiting us. Uh, somewhere. Supposedly, at least. Alright, we're strong enough to easily take them out. That feels good. Uh, half heart. We'll pick it up because we have to pick it up. I realize that I'm making a complete uh, mockery of even having the D20 at this point, but... It's not like uh, they said in the 40-year-old version, right? If you don't use it, you lose it. No, if we don't use it, we still have it. And maybe we'll end up picking up even, an even better spacebar item. I know the D20 has the potential to be uh, amazing for us. But I recently, at least, I haven't gotten great uh, kind of payouts from it. So I'm not overly attached to the idea of, uh, of keeping it. I'm happy to have it for now, though. A bomb? We're not going to reroll that. We could use that to find the secret room. Now we have 10 bombs. Okay, so the secret room is definitely viable. There's a penny, which I'm just gonna pick up for now. And we'll have to gauge whether or not we want to, um... Well, we'll have to see what we get here first. But then we'll gauge whether or not we want to, um... Use our, uh... 
our secret room, which presumably has money. Use our D20 on that, or, or not. I'm leaning towards not, but it depends if we can bomb our way into the shop or not. Well, we can now walk our way into the shop, so maybe it doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, so let's throw a bomb down here first. Nothing. Okay, so we have to walk our way into the shop with a key. That's good to know. In here, okay, well this is a perfect situation actually. We can pick up these three nickels. That's exceptionally lucky, by the way. Uh, make sure we shoot the fire to see if anything else comes out there. That's probably the luckiest secret room I think I've ever seen. Then, um, one of the few situations where maybe I would have rather not re-rolled that, but we now have 22 cents, more keys. It's beautiful. What do we have inside of our shop? The 9 volt. Fantastic. So we can actually go back into that, uh, secret room and reroll those hearts, which I may actually want to do. I don't really want to buy that key. Instead, we'll use one bomb, and we'll come back in here and try this. Now, I want to try putting down a live bomb and see if I can reroll that as well. You cannot. Okay. That's alright. Good to know. We turned uh, that into a little bit more money and another key as well. I would say that end of that floor turned out fantastically for us, so we're going to be able to use our D6, sorry, D20, big difference, uh, a lot more often now. We got the pentagram. We still desperately need HP. We got 10 bombs. Please be a small rock. Eh, that's another key. Bomb for a key in this situation is still great. Beautiful. 369 for our consumables. Catacombs scares the shit out of me. This room is actually, in a weird way, if we got hit on this room, it would almost be better for us because, um, we would have so many individual pennies on the ground. The problem is, we don't have the HP necessary to facilitate that. Also, give up hope of a deal with the devil, apparently. No spirit hearts here. And, uh, I am finding it very difficult to avoid taking damage. This is the scary part. Should have gone up. If I'd gone up, I'd be safer. Oh my god, we finagled our way out of there. Whew, okay. That's pretty lucky. Another key is great. Peeper's eye is, well, what are we gonna do, right? We're stuck with it. Might as well live with it for now. I say we check out our shop. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, we're not gonna buy anything yet. But I wanted to check it out just in case there was a half price item that was really good. And we're gonna be fighting Pestilence. Uh, it's a champion version of Pestilence, which is good but bad. If our uh, dead bird would actually see fit as to, uh, you know, go do some damage over there, that could be amazing for us. Otherwise, it's all up to me and Peeper's Eye, which is the title of my favorite young adult novel, but please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. That's the title of my second favorite young adult novel. It's a little bit darker, though. It's only for ages 12 and up. Okay. Careful. Peeper's eye, thank you. We're gonna live, and we're gonna get enough HP back to get to full health, but three floors deep and haven't gotten a single bit of uh, HP upgrades yet. That's not good for our health. I don't really want to buy the ladder, but we'll see. Um, we'll see if that ends up being plausible for us to avoid, basically. Um... Let's try looking for our secret room. It is there. I really relish the thought of re-rolling all of these, actually. Let's do it. So we still got more money. We got a much better trinket. Let's see what our tarot card is. It's the Empress. It's pretty good. We're gonna get more re-rolls, but the question is, maybe I want some of this money? I don't know. We'll be stuck with some when we leave for sure anyway, so let's, let's take this opportunity. Okay, well the ladder might actually pay for itself pretty easily, but let's see what we got going on in here. Uh, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take all these, actually. This is actually a perfect situation. What was my problem with the, the secret room? I was like, I don't want to not re- I don't want to avoid picking up the money, because we need 15 cents to be able to buy something. Um, or to buy things in the future, I should say. But now we have way more than 15 cents, because our spawn rate of nickels has just been absolutely absurd. So, that's fine. It's actually, it's it's better than fine. It's, it's great. That's like the fourth nickel we've gotten over the course of this run. Now, am I going to buy the ladder? I think I may. Just because we could get two more keys out of it and the benefit of having the ladder as well. We'll see. And maybe there's going to be something over here that's going to be worth picking up. I mean, it seems like it might be a, a smart pickup. Would pay for itself relatively quickly, maybe. Don't get hit here. That'd be embarrassing. Uh, okay, well, for one ladder purchase, we would get a ladder and three keys, so the value is totally there. What do we have in here? Two spirit arts. Okay, maybe we can actually snag a deal with the devil on the next floor. Not that we have HP necessary to deal with that, but okay. And really, I'm hoping we get an arcade on the next floor, but buying the ladder would negatively influence that. I say... 
I say first we play Judgment, and then we we see how it goes from there. We can't re-roll another room anyway. But we are going to go back into the secret room. Tarot card is the Magician. Pretty bad. Since we're not going to get another re-roll, I'm just going to use it. And I'm basically saying that I don't really care that much if I get the ladder. And it's true, I don't. But we might get enough money to get back to 15 cents anyway. But getting an HP from Judgment is a little bit more pressing if we can make that happen, I think. Okay. Please at least allow me to stay over uh, 5 cents. There we go. So I'm, I'm happy with the HP. You might be salty that I didn't get the ladder. Keep your priorities straight. Remember that the ladder still kind of sucks. Um, there's not that many opportunities for a second secret room. So I totally feel okay like using a bomb here. Oh, it is there. And it was Isaac's fork, which sucks. But at least we checked. And we can get whatever else is still available in here, which I think is, you know, a little bit of money. Enough money to be worth coming back for, at least. Yeah, that's seven cents. Well worth it. So we're not going to be buying a ladder, but we have enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor, which is extremely important for our D20 ambitions here. Feels pretty good. Okay. So we got a second level cube of meat, an HP upgrade on that floor. That's pretty nice. Peeper's eye. Eh, it is what it is. Let's check out our shop. Kind of hoping we'd fight greed, but at least we know not to worry about our shop at all here because uh, the only thing of value in there is a half price tarot card. We definitely don't want to purchase notched axe, and there's no way to reroll it, at least as of yet, so cross that off the flow chart for now. Greed is really excellent, actually, of course, when we have uh, a D20, but we'll have to cross that bridge when we come to it. Come on, they should be at least closing in on death at this point. Yeah. Okay. I want that money, but might be a little tougher to get. Oh, that's excellent. Okay. This floor is maybe the most important floor of the entire game. It's, you know, impossible to say that without knowing what items we're going to get and what bosses we're going to fight, etc., etc. But it might end up being the most important. Why? Deal with the Devil Chance. We have an Empress card to back it up as well. Um, could be an Arcade. That's basically it. That makes it the most important floor that we've had thus far by, like, six orders of magnitude. Um, but it could also end up being terrible if our item room ends up being as bad as our shop was. I don't really want to reroll those two pennies. Okay, so we do have an arcade over here. This is exciting. This is a big moment. So I'm just going to assume that at some point we're going to get enough money um, to not have to worry about the fact that I'm going to be... Oh, what awful damage there. That I'm going to be rerolling like all of the pennies that drop here. And hopefully we'll snag the HP upgrade as well. But the IV bag is actually not so horrible when you consider that it would give us more money as well. Careful what you wish for, I guess. Alright. Pick up this. Reroll everything. Golden chests that we can actually afford to open. Oh, come on, really? I do want the bombs. I do want the speed upgrade, actually. Um... I don't really care about the penny, so let's just leave. That was a little bit shitty, but it's okay. We can we can live with it. At least we know that the future ones will all pay out. We got a speed upgrade out of it. We spent some keys in the process, but oh well. We still have an item room left to go on this floor, and um, I can live with myself on that one. We still have a secret room to go as well, and maybe we have some more rerolls. You never know. Secret room could be here. Let's see if I'm lucky. That at least allowed me to get this money. And yeah, I think Pinky Eye is definitely better than the Matchstick. Probably always, but definitely in this situation. Okay, two bombs for one bomb. I know there's a way. You know what I'm going to say. Let's not even worry about it here. Put this here. Two bombs for three bombs is a great deal. Maybe we can actually use bombs to get into the item room instead of having to use a key. We can't. Almost a blessing, weirdly enough. Ah, oh, Dead Sea Scrolls. Be good? Shoop the whoop. Not really that good, is it? It's not really good at all. So we'll probably go to our curse room, but it'll be at the end of the floor. And I say it's a little bit of a blessing because... Uh, I want to have a reroll ready for when we go to our secret room, just in case it's, you know, a lot of pennies. Ideally, it would be like eight pennies and one dime, or eight pennies, one nickel. And then we could reroll that and feel pretty good. Alright, so this, this floor is important. Please give me, like, meat. HP plus something else. If not meat, HP is by far the most pressing matter. That's about it. We could always use our, um... 
No uh, tinted rock here. I, I thought I saw one. Um, we could always use our IV bag with some extra HP on this floor to get uh, more rerolls. We can't really combine that with the secret room, though. We'd have to do it in the shop, basically. And there would have to be at least a chance of Red Hearts coming back to help me. Otherwise, I'd be pretty much totally fucked. Seriously, like... Alright, I can wait. Any minute now. Hey, there we go, finally. A lot of bluster for a one-hit KO. Little Chad, alrighty. Like I said, it has the potential to be a terrible floor. Some floors you get uh, Polyphemus Mom's Knife. Some floors you get Notched Axe IV Bag Little Chad. But you can't say that we didn't at least try to swing this one. And it's not over until the fat lady sings. Probably won't even end up picking up Little Chad. Even though with the D20, it seems like there's some synergy. Oh, that's good. At least we got HP from it. And a deal with the devil. We have to. You're not going to like me for it, but I have to do it. So we're going to take Brimstone. Doesn't quite put us in Horror of Babylon state, but it gives us the chance to be in Horror of Babylon state. Uh, we'll pick that up, but maybe not yet. First things first. Careful. Uh, we'll check out our secret room. Thank God we got some HP. And yeah, if you're disappointed by that, I can understand where you're coming from, but it had to be done. It really, really had to be done. That's not the secret room? Where the fuck is the secret room then? I actually don't know. Okay. Well, um, uh, then what I think we should do is pick up this bad boy and we get to play this twice. Three times, actually. Four times! Okay, don't don't press your luck too much. So that's a lot of money. We'll reroll all of it and the matchstick. We can afford to open these golden chests. It's a little risky. Trinket kind of sucks, but let's, let's do it. Tammy's head. Well, that sucks. What about you, golden chest? Range upgrade is worthless with brimstone. Left hand, not really that important right now. We don't need HP as much as it appears that we need HP. We don't need HP, man. HP needs us. Now, we're going to move here, uh, but I figured we would just try to get some just to keep us alive a little bit. Shall we look for a second? You know, honestly, a second secret room would only really have, in terms of what benefits me, an eternal heart. I don't really need an eternal heart. I don't really care about that curse room either, given the amount of HP we have. So, let's just move along. I don't have high uh, expectations for this run. I didn't mean to pick that up. It's a really minor mistake to make, but it could end up biting me in the ass a little bit if I pick up uh, the miter. All right, teleport is almost not even worth fighting for. Necropolis one, huh? You couldn't even have the the decency to give me uh, the depths. Brimstone should not be enough to save us here. I don't mean that in like a. I'm trying to force for tell doom and gloom here. I'm just saying, like, we we should need more than brimstone. We might get it, but for now, we need it. Uh, and that's all I'm going to say on that issue. We're going to figure out where to use the reroll appropriately. For now, I'm enjoying picking up all these consumables. There we go. Small rock. Beautiful. We did get a speed upgrade, so the speed downgrade is not that deleterious there. Plus, we have the damage uh, upgrade associated with it and brimstone. Maybe we can swing this bad boy out. Daddy Long Legs. I can live with it. Uh, maybe this is a suitable reroll room. Daddy Long Legs, pretty good. Until the late game bosses, but that's okay. I kind of don't want to fight war. I'm enjoying having one consumable that also offsets the negative aspects of, uh, of uh, Brimstone right now, which is a, you know, long charge time. So let's head down to the shop. I'm expecting that maybe we'll end up encountering Greed, and Greed would be a perfect room with which to exercise our uh, D20-ness here. Oh, you're not dead yet, huh? Close, close, okay. I'll pick up that penny, almost certainly. This might be a room that we could use a reroll on. No, it's just counterfeit penny, instead of multiple pennies, which is actually fine. We actually got a penny out of a neutral fly poop there, which happens only very, very rarely from my experience, at least. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs is like a little Necronomicon that fires multiple times per room. All right, so we knew this was gonna happen. And I'm happy about it, because please just drop, oh, not the Steam Sale. We gotta pick it up. Now we should start re-rolling stuff. Maybe not this room. Um, maybe not that room. Maybe we'll try to find our secret room very quickly. We have some bombs. I'll pick up this single penny. Ah, there we go. So this would be the ideal reroll. Hey, it's perfect. Nothing of value. Uh, okay, an eternal heart. I'm gonna be super risky and pick that up. 
Ooh, no, I'm not. So instead, what we're going to end up doing is using our temperance card uh, to milk the shit out of uh, this. Yeah, yeah, that's how we're going to do it. So we're going to trade all of our red health in there. Hopefully we can snag the HP upgrade, but the most important thing is just getting a fuck ton of things to reroll. Uh, and getting more keys, bombs, spirit hearts, etc, etc. So we already have an eternal heart in there. So we've just got to not forget to go there at the end. This could be a big play for us. This could be the D20 scoring us a, a little bit of um, salvation after being previously kind of terrible. Careful. This is a tricky room for me. Daddy Longlegs helping out a great deal. Peeper's Eye helping out a great deal. Much appreciated. Oh, snap. Yeah. Daddy Longlegs, work with me here, buddy. You already killed one of the heads solo somehow. All right. Well, we have rerolls ready. I suppose we don't want to use them. We, we want to wait until the last possible situation. We don't want to use our rerolls whenever they're active. I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's, it's the truth. Who do we got? All right, Mask of Infamy. I mean, with Daddy Longlegs and Brimstone, Mask of Infamy seems like pretty much a perfect fight. We're very well suited for it. And the heart will actually be the hardest part, which doesn't happen very often. Could use the Empress. I think it's better to save it. And for once, the look on the face of the mask is actually appropriate here. All right. So it's going to be a little faster now. Peeper's Eye will hurt it. Daddy Longlegs will hurt it when it gets it. Now, the mask has, like, next to no HP, if I remember. Like, five or six brimstone hits, I bet. Not that our brimstone hits are doing a ton of damage, but still. One more, maybe? Yeah, very good. So, range upgrade we can't do shit about. Might as well take it. Almost hope we're fighting Krampus in here. We're not. I don't really want, uh... I don't really want Guppy's Tail. Not for a full HP, anyway. Uh, okay, okay, be cool here. I'm gonna sacrifice my spirit heart. Not a great idea. Book of Sin gave us a bomb. Let's traded a spirit heart for a bomb. That's a bad trade. So gotta be a little cautious in here. Plenty of HP. How are we gonna do this? The most important thing is don't accidentally walk backwards into the blood bank when you're about to die. One. Two. And a three. With Steam Sale, I'm not even going to pick up the nickel. So we're going to drop another bomb. This might be the last one, just because I don't want to be playing too risky here. One. Two. I got to keep looking. I know, I know it seems dangerous. But this is why we have the D20. We got to quintuple down, right? Now, I'm just going to take a quick look and see how much HP is actually over here. We'll probably get enough HP to take us back to full health, but on the off chance we don't. There's so many different ways it could happen. Through the reroll, through a blood bag, etc, etc. There's one full heart there, so I feel confident um, in, in having enough HP. So we'll use one more bomb here. That'll give us three more plays. So this is a moment of truth. One, two, and three. All right, we just got money, but I'm re-rolling it. But we're taking the Eternal Heart. Re-rolling everything else. No live bombs. Oh, is that what? There's one live bomb. We got a golden key. Uh, we can't play that Blood Bank anymore. I don't want to take this pill until the next floor. Which is unfortunate, because it means I'll lose the Empress card. What do we have? The Moon. Secret Room. There's another one in there. Two of Spades. Well, let's use that. We can only take, you know, X number of these down to the next floor anyway. Um, might as well get all the keys. Alright, so that's going to sort out our keys for like the rest of the run. We still want pinky eye. I say we take the pill. I know it's risky. Don't be bad trip. Tears up. Okay. Is there another pill over here? I don't think so. So what do we want to take with us? The Empress? The world? Or the moon? I think, um, I think the Empress is still the best. And fuck that single penny. All right, we're out. Another good floor. Amazingly, we still find ourselves incapable of getting HP upgrades. Except from Eternal Hearts that we randomly find on the ground. Uh, but here we are. We got a Tears upgrade, at least. And so many keys. So, so many keys. Maybe there's a small chance we end up pulling this one out. I don't know. We're on Necropolis 2. Stranger things have happened, probably. Who are we fighting? Gluttony? That is super sloth. This is not Gluttony. 
Daddy Long Legs is my hero on this fight. Keep it up, buddy. Just didn't do any damage that time. That was weird. Uh, sure. Bob's Curse is fine. We've got some exploration to do here. Now, you've probably noticed, as I well have, that there is a... Uh, there is an arcade here. We could really use that speed upgrade along with the H, primarily the HP, let's be honest, but we could really use the blood bag in addition to all the sweet reroll juice that we can garner there. Oh, that should have been damage for me. I got lucky. And he should have been dead. That should not have been damage for me. That was bad play. All right, Book of Revelations. Well, Book of Revelations is probably gonna end up being better for me than the D20. But we need the D20 for now. So we're gonna take it for now. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky and find the secret room here and have an easy reroll. So we'll take Book of Revelations in the future. Especially with our 9 volt. It's nice. Uh, but this is the D20's last stand. It's not like we're gonna be playing Blood Banks like crazy on the next floor anyway. D20's been solid to me. It's given me eternal hearts that, uh, have maybe given me a chance of success here. And I use maybe, uh, in its literal context for sure. Uh, I'm not feeling super confident about this in spite of the some benefits we've had so far. You might say that's re-rollable, but I really want to keep those red hearts for, um, oh, that was dumb. It's the game, but it, it's still dumb. Um, I want to keep those uh, red hearts for being able to play the Blood Bank more. Seems smart to me. It would be very nice to get Guppy's Paw, but... Okay, obviously we just want to leave. We didn't pick up any of that money, which is very surprising to me. I thought for sure that would happen. And come on, we've earned one blood bag over the course of this run. We have to have earned one blood bag. Please stop putting that right in front of the door. That's gonna be hard to avoid. Well, um, this is not the right way to handle it, but I'm gonna reroll right away because it's right in front of the door. So we have keys. I'm gonna open some of these golden chests. That's red hearts. That's money. I don't want to pick up the money. It's gonna be hard to avoid though. Uh, okay, Steven, damage upgrade. Sweet. Happy with that? Uh, yeah, fate. We don't want to pick up fate if we can avoid it right now. I know that sounds weird, what do we got? Full health, okay. We don't want to pick up fate if we can avoid it because um, the eternal heart means we can't play the blood banks anymore. So just be cool here. I, I want to pick it up soon, as soon as possible, but uh, let's just sneak down here. Oh, there's a portable slot there. Portable slot plus D20 can be an interesting combination. So we're going to avoid picking up Fade for now, because I really, really want the HP from this uh, Blood Bank. We might not get it, but we got to give ourselves the best possible chance. Good. Very good. You never know when it's going to pay out. This item room could still be uh, amazing for us as well. They haven't really been so far, but stranger things have happened. Okay, third eye, mom's eye. So it's a tears upgrade. Eh, it's okay. I can't really complain because we got fate on this floor, but... Man, if only our... Ah, no, our shops were good to us. The Book of Revelations will help out with the 9 volt. Well, we're going to do some more exploration before we discover the boss. If I uh, only have half of a heart left by the time we go into that boss fight, life's okay because we have uh, Horror of Babylon damage, which will help us out. Not quite... Able to kill you in one hit, unfortunately. Okay, Kane's eye doesn't really help. We'll definitely use a bomb to get that red heart, considering the potential benefit. Oh, never mind. Maybe we won't. What do we have in here? I know what you're gonna say about rerolls and all that jazz, uh, but we're not gonna get another reroll on this floor anyway, so we might as well just kind of clear it out in advance so we know what we're dealing with. That's my philosophy, at least. Thank you, cube of meat. Maybe save me some damage there. Ah, perfect. I wanted to save uh, my brimstone charge to use it immediately on the next spawning wave. Good. And... Great. Okay. Almost worth re-rolling right there, but not quite. Alright. Uh, let's let's go back into this arcade. I really can't avoid... I can't use my re-roll until we pick up Transcendence, but I can't pick up Transcendence until we stop using the Blood Bank. Or at least I'd prefer not to. So it would really make my life a lot easier if it just paid out with the blood bag right away. I can get around this. Yeah, lucky me. Keep as many of those pennies as possible because obviously we don't really need them. Come on, blood bag. Work with me here. I don't. Maybe it wouldn't reroll fates, but it's kind of a risk I'm not willing to take. 
Well, you know what? We'll gamble down here a little bit, and if you pay out with something I want, beautiful. If you pay out with something I don't, then we'll just leave it on the ground. Keys, I'll take. Still want keys. Red hearts, though. Red hearts are what I want. Balls of steel. Great. Happy to have it. You might be saying, like, idiot, just pick up fate. You'll be fine. Uh, we don't want those pennies. Okay. Gotta be a little tricky with the way we interact with this. I hope this doesn't crash the game. I mean, I, let's be honest, I kind of hope it does, but I, I hope it doesn't. Because I'm having a fun run here. Picked up a penny by accident. Woe is me. Opened up a little bit more space for us. I really don't want fly love. Pennies are fine. Oh, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a risk. I'm going to reroll everything. It shouldn't reroll fate. Here we go. Good. It didn't reroll those items. So we can actually, this is a huge benefit for us. So open that bad boy up. Because now I can pick up fate. And there's another eternal heart over here that I can draw from. Right there. And we opened another golden chest, like six golden chests in the process there. Um, so I, I still want the HP. I don't really want the money. Um, yeah, okay, this is fine. We know that pill. It's balls of steel. It's good. All right. So now we can fly and we didn't lose our eternal heart. So that worked out well. There's so much shit on the ground, I can barely focus on what we're actually supposed to be rerolling. We're not going to be able to reroll anything, basically. Please. Please, God. The amount of gambling I'm doing for these returns on investment is actually absurd. I gotta pick it all up at this point, I think. What are our tarot cards? Empress? And there's a couple over here. The Sun. Empress. The Magician. Magician's bad. Um, so we're gonna take the Sun card with us. Might as well uh, play this guy a little bit more. Oh, you paid out with another Balls of Steel. I mean, Balls of Steel's lovely, of course, but... We can't teleport out. What do we got here? Bombs and money. Oh, we got some HP back somewhere in that little orgy of consumables. Really? Alright, fuck it. We're picking it all up. Go home, everybody. Fun's over. Oh, there's more. Okay, so we want the we want the Emperor card. Or sorry, the Sun card. Much better. Could use the Sun card for full health. It's a foolish decision. Do we have everything we want? No. We want the... Oh, we have the sun card already. Okay, this is good. Fuck the money. There's like a golden chest in the miasma there. Just push your way out, man. Okay, so we want to get Book of Revelations now. I really can't believe that we didn't get paid out with a blood bag. We worked our ass off. Well, we, we tried to work our ass off for it, I guess. Um, I'm content with the items we did get. We got a lot of balls of steel. We got fate, of course, which gives us a full HP combined with that eternal heart we found on the ground. But it's still disappointing that we couldn't get just a little bit more. But, oh well, you know, it's it's good. We're in a good position. Damage hasn't improved, but uh, being able to fly helps out. And we did get fly love as well. Some people like it, some people don't give a shit. I'm more in the, the camp that doesn't really give a shit. And I put some bombs down um, on, like, the bodily segment areas. In the hopes that I can um, do some poison damage, which would help us out. We're not short on bombs. It's a little bit of a risky play, but... I mean, it's only risky because we're losing bombs. We're not going to lose HP, probably, in the process. So that's a pretty good one. Um, this is basically over already, yeah. I took damage on the way out, but we got pills. We know most of the pills are good. There's at least a Balls of Steel in there. Uh, what else do we have? We don't know. Tears down, not a big deal. Range down, not a big deal at all. Telepills has allowed us to exit, and, you know, we could go play the Blood Bank some more. I can't bring myself to do it. I gotta keep my, my HP good. I'm sorry. It's gonna let some people down, but it's the truth. I gotta do it. Maybe we can get a deal with the devil here, though. I would love to pick up Guppy's paw. Nope. Alright. So we got the sun card. We got the Polaroid. And we're going down to the next floor. Good! This run turned out better than expected. Compass helps us out, of course, a great deal. Book of Revelations will be... Nice, uh, once every five rooms we'll get another spirit heart. That'll slow the bleeding a little bit. Come on, Daddy Long Legs. Thank you. The Fool card. Pretty terrible. In this situation, at least. And we're on the Womb, which is easier than Utero. Brimstone, if we didn't pick it up, I'm 99% confident we'd pretty much be dead right now. Or our damage would be so bad that we'd be wishing we were dead. Which is even more depressing, I guess. 
Good. Um, try this way. That's not this way, but we didn't get punished for it. Okay, so this would be an awesome deal with the devil chance. We are going to get war here. Or, sorry, we're going to get death here. Hopefully not conquest, at least. Uh, and I'm fine with that. We can get our third level meat boy. It sucks because I lose an orbital, but that's okay. It'll make us a lot worse for late game boss fights. The late game boss fights, I guess, to be specific, but whatever. It actually is death. Why did I think this... Yeah, no, I was right. This will be death. I said that. I said war first. My mistake. So we're not going to take red heart damage. I've already taken a bunch of uh, spirit heart damage, unfortunately, because I'm bad. Um, no more, please. Thank you. All right, so it should be very easy to kill death. We'll see what Daddy Longlegs does. I think it hit both of them there. Might kill the horse easily. It's going to be pretty easy, at least. It should be. I mean, we have Brimstone. Good good play there, Daddy Longlegs. That was a solid one. Really? I'm amazed that this thing is not dead yet. One of these days, surely. Peeper's Eye just gave it both barrels there. So there's our cube of meats. Uh, we got a Spirit Heart back. And we got Demon Baby in the shovel. I was really hoping that we would end up getting uh, Guppy's Paw there. That would have helped out so much. Permanent Curse of, uh, or Permanent Horror of Babylon, Permanent Polaroid Invincibility, and like 30 Spirit Hearts. Oh well, I guess. Can't win them all. Um, we did win some on this run. Probably in a better position than, you know, we have any right to be, so I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, this appears to be the right way to go. I love it when these guys all line up for you. It makes life very easy. And this is our way to the boss room. Surprisingly. This is ready. We don't need to plan to use Book of Revelations at any specific time. Rooms are going quickly. Mom's heart should be easy. It's really the the late game bosses that I, I wouldn't say I'm worried about, but that I'm giving the most attention. So we're definitely going to use bombs here. Uh, we have curse bombs, which is like the second best kind if you can only have one kind of uh, special bombs. Obviously, Mr. Mega is a little bit better, but that's fine. The poison damage is nice. We're already basically doing like maximum... Uh, Firing or inducing maximum firing from Isaac and Blue Baby, I would have to imagine. Just by virtue of having a second level cube of meat, cube of meat and uh, Dead Bird as well, when Dead Bird chooses to actually work. So this is going to be over. That was very easy, of course, and it's up to the uh, Cathedral. So we have Greed right there. We'll open that, why not? I can open two of them, by all means. Don't really give a crap about uh, that, but that's okay. Maybe we'll go in this direction this time. Save some bombs, because those bombs may actually end up being really nice for me to use against Isaac and or Blue Baby. Because Daddy Longlegs is going to crap out about halfway through those fights. Well, no, he's going to crap out after the first play. Oh, bad damage on my part. Very dumb. Shouldn't have even come to this room. Just using, like, simple deductive reasoning, you can figure out that this is not going to be where the boss room is. Now, the only question is whether we go over top or underneath, and I don't have a good answer to that question. Unless you're talking about, you know, where do you put your underwear in relation to your pants. In which case, the answer most of the time is underneath. Unless you're like a rapper or something from the mid-90s. So I'm thinking it's got to be uh, up and around. I'm going to negate our previous progress. We can always return to it later if necessary. In favor of taking a more conservative approach up here. It's got to be this way. It just, it just looked right. So, that was a little bit too risky on my part, but I'm thinking that we, like, fire uh, at both of them at the same time, and it doubles the speed at which we're, they're taken out. There we go. Thank you very much. That's it. Ah, oh, we got a pill. Telepills. That's bad. That could cause us some serious problems here. Uh, oh, I backed out of that brimstone a little early, and uh, that's going to cost me ever so slightly here. All right. These guys should be very easy once I get them in my sights. Ooh. Good, good, good. Missing page is terrible. Ah, careful. There we go. Chain reaction. Not quite. More or less, though. I don't really want to fight greed. Ah, very good. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs. Okay, so I am going to use Brimstone here. But I also feel like it's in my best interest to place as many of these poison bombs as is humanly possible. Maybe every time we get hit, we'll run up and place a poison bomb. In the meantime, we'll just fight like a war of attrition here. Because this is free damage, right? As long as I don't get hit, all the damage that we're doing to Isaac is free. 
Once we start getting hit, then we can start trading. There we go. Drop that one in there. Isaac won't knock it away. It's good. We're about a third of the way through. We've only been hit once. I think we're set on this run. And it's weirdly come out across as kind of an easy one. Maybe D20 helped me more than I'm willing to admit. But it also felt like we were definitely scrounging on this one. Did we get any HP upgrades from bosses? Like, if you did a graph or a, a survey and the, it was like number of times I win versus number of HP upgrades gained from bosses, I'm pretty sure it would be a positive correlation. The more HP I get from bosses, the more likely I am to win. So to win on zero HP from bosses is not, you know, outside of the realm of possibility. But it's pretty unlikely. Zero HP from bosses and zero HP from blood banks, especially. Like, all HP from Eternal Hearts. That's a weird run. So we're gonna get down to the next floor with uh, quite a lot of health left. Let's see what we got going on in these. Range upgrade. We've had several of those. Skinny Odd Mushroom, Guardian Angel, Lemon Mishap. Uh, I think all I'm gonna take is Guardian Angel, honestly. Why not Skinny Odd Mushroom? Makes us fire more often, but uh, it makes our individual shots do less damage, which I think with Brimstone is kind of, um, it's, a, it's a value proposition I'm not a huge fan of. These Lokis, staying a little too close together, they're not gonna like that too much. Too bad we can't shoot Brimstone diagonally. Oh well. So, we're gonna win. We're, we're gonna win and it's gonna be fine. Um, but man, we're doing pretty well considering we haven't, in, by my estimation, gotten anything super overpowered except Brimstone, which was pretty much a life or death pickup in my eyes at least. And you know what? Our spirit hearts are actually looking kind of scary right now. Uh, maybe we're not going to win as handily as I previously uh, prognosticated, but we're going to get a spirit heart back after this room. This has pretty much got to be the way to the boss. He's going to get rid of that uh, horse soon. I said horse. He's going to get rid of that horse soon. Don't be weird. We can easily kill the Zambros. Keep it going. This is okay. There we go. Um, I don't really want to get in this horse's way. I'm going to. Occasionally. Just to do maximum damage. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, so this should be our uh, ticket here. It is. We know that the boss room has to be over there. We still have the sun card backing us up. I mean, obviously, this is all super helpful. Better to be fighting war than uh, fighting death at the end of this, I'd say. If for no other reason than the death fight can be frustratingly long. Alright. Our speed's not amazing. So I would really like to be able to take him out before he gets up to full steam. Come on. There we go. Alright, another key. Very useful. Well, it looks like we'll be using Lemon Mishap against the boss. Fitting. Because that's the item we deserve to win with on, an, on a run where um, we didn't really pick up all that much in the traditional fashion. Let's put it this way. It was a non-traditional run. To win it with a non-traditional space bar item just seems kind of fitting, doesn't it? We're not doing that much damage, but it adds up to be enough. Easy. All right. Well... Let's go get Lemon Mishap and finish this off, shall we? Fun run! Weird run! Fun run. Kind of a weird one, though. Um, yeah, we don't want Skinny Odd Mushroom. So Lemon Mishap, Bombs, Brimstone, Battlestar Galactica. I don't see much disaster in our future unless I get a little too aggressive with the bombs. So my thinking is when we get hit, we'll run up and drop Lemon Mishap and a bomb. And we will get hit. I really doubt we're gonna, yeah, steamroll this fight without getting touched at all. So I didn't end up dropping a bomb, but Lemon Mishap's eating them out. That didn't come out right. It's eating his health away pretty good. It's not performing, you know, oral sex on him. Probably. I don't know. What they do behind closed doors is none of my business, is it? So we just play it cool. We got Meat Boy and Dead Bird doing what Meat Boy and Dead Bird do. We've got our relatively meager damage cutting him up now and then. Halfway through, we have only been hit twice. That feels pretty good. Good dodge there. Terrible dodge there. Guardian Angel helping us out. Poison Bombs doing the D.O.T. Feels pretty good. Careful. Careful. Ah, we're... There's no risk for us. 
nearly zero. Let's even use the sun card just to finish it off. Yeah, that's how cocky I was. Hey, we finished it, though. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.